Let's go. The big issue was the big show yesterday at the MCG. It promised plenty and it over delivered, I think. Richmond running down Brisbane from 42 points down. The implications for both and the conclusions to draw. What did you make of it? Fascinating game. Love watching Richmond games. And, and, and Brisbane turned it on early. So let, let's, let's, start with, let's start with that. And their, their forwards, their key forwards firing. I mean, who would you ride the Joe Danaher show? You really do. It's up when it's up and it's down when it's down. It, it, is, it is tough. Um, but in, in the end, Jared, and both teams are not great defensively. This is what it comes back to. And when Grimes goes off, that's exacerbated even more for the, for the Tigers. And you can say Starsevich wasn't there for, for, for Brisbane. But I think Grimes and Starsevich, they cancel each other out. If you allow the opposition to score when they go forward, you will end up in these sorts of games. You will end up in shootouts. What was it? 104 to 97. You'll end up with 200-point encounters, which brings a low level of security. You, ca you can't sign off on either of these two teams. You just can't because – if the other team turn up in a really aggressive manner and you could be beaten by a Hawthorne, you could be beaten by a St Kilda, you could be beaten by the Western Bulldogs, you could also then beat Melbourne and Sydney and, and Geelong and those sorts of teams. But I'll, I'll walk away. I'm probably, I'm probably more looking at, at Brisbane than Richmond. I think we've got a good handle on who Richmond are. Offensively geared, you know, I still think they've got the best system in the comp and the way they move the ball. It's, it's brilliant. It's hard to stop when it's on. You know, uh, Shea Bolton just was, was fantastic. He's, he's a, one of the most watchable players uh, in the competition. But if, if you just want to really strip back, so 42-point lead, terrific, great. Offensively great, and when they can control the footy, in other words, defend with the ball in hand, still score, but take time off clock, they're a good team, Brisbane. But that doesn't work in finals. And we keep saying that doesn't work in finals. Last 75 minutes, 34 inside 50s for Richmond, and they kicked 11 goals, 10. So 21 scores from 34 entries. So that's going at 62%. The AFL average is 44%. They, they goal, a goal every third entry, so 33%. The AFL average is 22%. They're, they're big disparities. And, and, and to me... It's against Harris Andrews and Marcus Adams. They're, they're the prime movers down there. Darcy Gardner is a major part of that as well. So the three of those guys take them to the cleaners. Confusion, lack of trust, so they fly against each other. Harris Andrews, for some reason, he had Tom Lynch, and there are times we took that big mark over uh, Marcus Adams where he drove his knee into his head. Now, that's, that's an absolute sin for a fullback, to allow your player, he just stopped, and let him run and drive his knee into the back of a teammate. That, that's a sin. That's the cardinal sin. You're better off giving away a free kick than letting your teammate wear that. So there's there are opportunities where Harris could have gone. He didn't go. He's a serious player. He's in all Australian contention. He's, he's in the discussion. Now, whether you have him there or not, I don't care. But he's that level of player. So for those players to be so gettable for 70 minutes of footy means to me that they're no longer in the conversation to win it. Now, we said this a couple of weeks ago that I don't think their profile is mapping it to that of a Premier, let alone a top four team. So all warts get exposed against good teams and the finals have started early this year. It's, a, it's as simple as that. And, and I think Chris Fagan would sit there today and think, wow, what, what are we, what are we? What's our big asset? And, and if I said to you, what, 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 why will Brisbane win it? What would you say? Well, no, with the ball is where they do make sense. But we've seen enough. They've lost five out of six finals while living in the top four. Yesterday was huge for my judgment of them. I was so looking forward to seeing it. And 42 points up and going, yeah, yeah, well, that's the way to answer it. Mm. And then they got swallowed up by it, by flaws that are in their game. Yeah, so they, they took they took 27 uncontested marks in the first quarter when, when they really were, were dominant. And then third and fourth quarters, they take 36 in total. So it's, it's so easy to take that off a team and disarm the uncontested mark game. That, and this is a similar discussion for Fremantle, you know, because I keep saying if it didn't work for Richmond in 2016, if they said, no, we can't win, play, we're going to go away from it and then take the game into chaos and they go bang, bang, bang and win three premierships. And Geelong, who have been top of the pops for a decade, say, you know what, this is good, but it's not great. How do we get to great? No, we've got to take more risks. We can't be as safe with the ball. We've got to throw it into the corridor. We've got Jeremy Cameron running up the ground. We're going, to, we're going to trust that our back six can hold up, even though we've lost some stars out of that back six. So 
So why would all of a sudden this work for Brisbane, given that it hasn't worked for Geelong, it hasn't worked for Richmond? It, it, I don't know. I, I just think this comes back to the planning. So you can say what you like. You can argue who wasn't there, who was there, and, oh, we got to 42 points up. You can. Dennis Pagan used to say you can talk like losers for as long as you like, but you'll continue to talk as losers. So I, I don't know whether there's an, another option now because we're three weeks out from the final. So you've got to stick with this plan. But you've got to hope that Lockie Neal goes crazy to win the thing. And crazy is like 40 touches a week and, and 10, 10 score assists. So it's next level crazy. We, we don't see next level crazy in finals. So I think it's a line through through Brisbane. At Richmond, gee, everyone's just said, oh, well, we'd hate to play Richmond. It's a, it's a, common, it's a common theme. But I really don't know how you stop Shea Bolton. That that's that's. Whenever I watch Richmond, I think, oh, hang on, now he's forward, now he's on ball, now he's look, oh, geez, at the halfback flank, what's he doing here? Boom, he's gone. You know those players with speed, they just they just are so hard to catch. So now, a great game to watch. I don't know how you how did you leave that game? What what did you where were you were you thinking? You know Brisbane. Yeah, tick, or were you thinking Richmond? No, no, but, so Brisbane have fallen out of the top four, and that's in keeping with who they are. So yeah. that, that more reaffirms. They haven't been in my settings for months. Yeah. I don't, I'm not a subscriber on them. They're going to host an elimination final. They might they might claw into fourth if, if Colin would get the staggers late, but I, I'm with you. I can't see them winning it. Um, Richmond, uh, they're, they're all of this. So this my whole point was... People are saying their system's in really good order. No, they're, they're all of this. It's a bit madcap. I sort of, I'm addicted to watching it. Um, what can it lead to? I don't know. I don't know whether they make it or not. They'll, they'll be a, they'll make for the most watchable final of week one if they are eighth versus fifth. Yeah. But I don't, I don't see them. I don't see them on a tear, ripping the teams out ahead of them and and suddenly landing on the last day. Last six weeks, third best team in the comp with the ball. Give them the ball. Give Richmond the ball and you bleed. And it's Sydney, Geelong, Richmond. Great company to be in. And, and, and Essendon are up there as well. Um, so great company to be in. But without the footy, 12th. Well, that, that's, not, that's not getting it done in a final. Um, regards, it, it, it just puts too much stress. It just creates too much vulnerability down back. So... No, it's, it's been an, an enterprising and entertaining year for the Tigers. And this is generally where they get on a run over the last few years. So, you know, we, we hope they do, but the, it's proofs in the pudding.